Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Northwestern State Demons and the Houston Cougars. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Cougars are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Secondly, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Third, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Manley, pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Stolen away. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Trying to feed the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Tries the three. Oh, yes. They'll work it around the arc. Sets the screen for his teammate. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Now trying to feed the low block. Fakes the shot. Good fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. They go into the low block. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. There he is, strips the ball loose. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Down inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> they work the perimeter. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. The small forward gets the ball and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The point guard with the ball. He dials long distance. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got a wide open look. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Shoots! Nails the jumper. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Coleman is feeling great right now. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Shooter spotting up on a three. They're working around the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He puts it up. There was no doubt about that one. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Northwestern State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Strips the ball. Tempo to game. Really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The small forward takes the feed. He gets it to go. The frustration right there. And the jam. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Puts it up, looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from the top of the key. It sticks. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He looks at the hoop. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. And the ball goes out of play. He's got a high post flasher. Ten seconds to put it up. The defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The center takes the pass. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. It's a fast break possibility. Trying to draw some contact. How about a replay, boys? the pick from the top of the key off the rim and no good working it around the perimeter from the top of the key way off target patience with the ball as the offense regroups the center gets the pass he shoots from right of the circle off the rim and no good. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented of guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Turns it over. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jug. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Booker pounded on his way up. 
And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you why. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. I'll tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Hits the first shot. Houston are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. there if he wants it from the top of the key the demons have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment that he's on fire on the dribble gives it up way out on top controlling the ball drains it the players are doing a bad job dick with a double team hey yeah it looks like they don't know what's going on looking for a good shot Double team now, Matt Angle. Stolen. They push it up on the break. For the bucket, the lay -in. The Cougars have a special roster, which I know you're in love with. Dick. Oh, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. Tries for two. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Anticipation defensively with a long bomb. Goes up for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Jumped in front to take it away. Look at that spacing. He fires away. Way off target. They move it into the front court. He's got some room. There they come with a double team to stop it. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Stolen away on the run. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Executes the baby hook. And he missed. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick down here on the sideline. I'm standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them, it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. Thanks, Aaron. He fakes the shot. Jump hook from the low post. The Demons have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Nice hops. Gave it up. There's the trap. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes it off him. Up it inside. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Side. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Houston are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that would keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Looking for a good shot. Now the high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Oh, what a strip, Red. Transition opportunity. Scores it. And he's fouled. So and one opportunity here. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talk to. The Demons go to the line for the first time in this game. He makes it. The outside. He pulls the trigger. Missed the shot in close. Should have used the backboard. Didn't use the angle. Lay it on the glass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. High post screen. Going to use it. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Trying to get that board movement. Get that good spacing. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. He unloads. That's good. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. There's a high screen. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action.
Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He strips him clean. They get it out into transition. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. It is pretty similar. Wow. They didn't realize my partner was a high rise. Spin move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle, he gets that one to fall. Two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Two for one opportunity. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball he draws a foul points off turnovers dick a stat i know coaches pay a lot of attention to hey brad it sure is you want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers ultimately you want to nullify the easy basket way out on top controlling the ball for the bucket this team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Cougars are down by four. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitell. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? I picked the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Houston is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dave. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. The fake. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Jumped in front to take it away. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. The 
crowd really admires this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball handler might be in trouble here. He intercepts it. The pass is stolen. Hey, he got a clean break on it. Dumps it in. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. McDermott handles the rejects it. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he scores despite the hack. Turnaround jumper. They let him get into a rhythm. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. McDermott makes a great move to draw the foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. First one is good. And he got them both. They'll work it around the arc. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. With the fake. Rejected out of there. Nice block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Fakes it. And now they'll bring it up. Pulls the trigger. He gets it to fall. He intercepts it. The screen up on and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Great defense. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. For the bucket. Nice shot. You don't see plays like this every day.
tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Wide open for the shot. He pump fakes. Booker receives the ball. He shoots from the angle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. He's got an open look for the shot. Trying to draw the foul. Lays it up. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. The ball goes out of play. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. away the pass. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'll work it around the arc. Low block for the deuce. The Demons have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. God, he's on fire. Steals the pass. Pushes it. The shooting guard handles the pass. Up and inside. Dunn receives the pass. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, down here on the sidelines, both coaches are harping at their players, telling them it's all about the little things. Take care of the ball. Take quality shots. 
The action and intensity has really picked up down here, guys. Everyone wants to see a great finish. Buried it. There's a double team waiting there. Goes. They work it back to the outside. Working it around the perimeter. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, they'll often end up with a personal foul. Whitehead goes to the line for the first time. He hits his first. Free throws go. Jumped in front to take it away. He takes the shot off the baseline. Rims out. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. an open guy in the post and went the other way. Picks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Pushes it up. Northwestern State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He intercepts it. Here they go into transition. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Great defense. for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. Defense giving no room. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. The Demons have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Good shot. 
Defense giving some room. He unloads a three. He's got to pass those off then. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. It's stolen. the pass in the paint stolen on the outside has a nice look at the basket gave it up Whitehead knocks it home and one what a poor job defensively nobody stopped the penetration of the ball He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Clay created a foul opportunity. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. In the paint. Steals the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They'll work it around the arc. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Intercepted. break tries for two got it check this one out goes up for two with a layup away the pass time to pick up the defense here now robs him of the ball nobody getting back Brad where's the defense for the deuce. Oh, yes! On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Controlling the ball. He launches the bomb. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for a good shot. The top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On 
the dribble, gives it up, steals the pass. The offense can't get that break going. These boys have really done their homework. He takes it away. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Houston are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Picked off. Timeout's been called. Let's check in with Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He strips him clean. On the outside. Got an open look if he wants it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Fake. Clock management, isn't it, Dick? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Vesla. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Shot clock is dead. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. surprise the opposition with a little change here Dick that might not be a bad idea three points is the difference that's right so somebody better guard the York now the turnaround jumper the more possessions you create the better your chances double team now bad angle Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. He'll visit the charity strike. Lots of rim, but not in. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. Step back out onto the court. From way downtown. The shot won't fall. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. 
the Demons. Open the tournament with an impressive first round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves and through the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.